We recently had some additional features be moved from the backlog into active development. We're talking about things like console FOV slider, frame rate improvements for Reach and Halo 2 anniversary, text chat improvements, and additional mod support, and more. So in this video, we'll break down exactly when can we expect these additions to be added into the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you want to stay up to date with everything happening in the franchise, make sure to tap subscribe guys because we constantly pumping out videos on this channel. So let's get right into it. Now right now with the MCC, the big headliners are like the new seasons coming in, uh, cross play, input based matchmaking, all these other features like custom browser that are coming into the MCC that are actively in development right now. But we had some major additions just removed from the backlog of, yeah, we'll get to it later stuff to in design, which is the portion of where V43 actually starts developing out these processes. And one of those happens to be some PC features come in the console like FOV slider. Trust me guys, I read the comments on my videos and I've seen so many comments talking about when is FOV slider coming to console? When is FOV slider coming to console? Hey, when is that FOV slider coming to console? Well, guys, it sounds like it might be actually on its way. As in the previous development updates that we've seen, the monthly development updates that we get, from post -ems. it's always been in the back burner, in the backlog of pending features for discussion to talk about, see how we could add it into the MCC. Well, recently in the August development update, it, those features were recently just put into the end design iteration. If you guys don't know, there are three major phases when it comes to additional features coming to the MCC. One is the backlog, as in, 3 for 3 is aware that people want to add this in, they're just not at the moment working on it. It's kind of thing of it as putting it in the back burner and like, we'll get to it when we can kind of thing. In design iteration is the portion of development where they plan out their attack of how to implement these features into the game. And then obviously the actively in development section is, well, pretty self-explanatory, the parts that are actively being developed on right now, like the coding, the working out of these features being implemented into it. Uh, recently, we had a big dump of new content coming into the actively development features like the PC file share, custom browser input-based matchmaking, region server selection, cross-play, things like that are currently in development and looking to be flighted very soon. Though, we recently had some new updates for the InDesign iteration portion, which is going to be a lot of the stuff that I see a lot in the comment section about. So in this video, we're going to clarify what's in there and exactly when can we expect these features to be added in using previous development updates as a bit of an understanding of when these time frames will happen. So in design right now for the MCC we have additional mod support, text chat improvements, it does say better ways to report players but that's actually a typo that's actually in current current development right now, uh, variable frame rate improvements for reach and Halo 2 anniversary, bringing PC features to console like FOV sliders and additional accessibility support. So compared to last month we have the bringing of PC features to consoles being added as well as additional accessibility support as well so things like colorblind accessibility kind of stuff Now they don't exactly say ex beyond FOV sliders what kind of additional PC features we will see be added to the MCC for console I would assume possibly a higher frame rates as well if the Xbox one X can do but beyond 60 in these games which I would hope it would be able to that we can see that being an addition as well of course that's pure just speculation if we look back at previous development updates we can look back at May that's when a lot of these features like custom game browser or cross-play, input-based matchmaking were just added into the in-design iteration phase. And then now, three months after that, we now have these features being added into the active development phase. Now, if you're wondering why FOV slider is such a big deal for console players, just look at this screen right here. This is the MCC on the Xbox One right here. You can just keep an eye on this FOV. Now, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison to the FOV on PC. And you can see the difference. That's a huge difference. This is also uh, the FOV on PC cranked up to 120 max FOV range. I usually like to run about 105 because when you're running at this wide of a FOV, you get a bit of distortion on the outside and, your, and target acquisition in the center of your screen gets a little bit more difficult. But you can see how essentially less claustrophobic it becomes and you, you'd be able to see much more of the battlefield be able to make proper decisions when you're playing on console yeah, you're going to be playing a little bit of a disadvantage with the smaller FOV. And Halo 3 has a notoriously tiny FOV. This is actually something that was changed with ODST with a much wider FOV there. But obviously, 
with Halo 3 on console right now, this is kind of what you're stuck with. This is why people are really looking forward to this. One change I'm really looking forward to is, well, the text chat improvements and also actually the variable frame rate improvements as well. Reaching H2A on PC for unlimited frames is very choppy and I lock that at 60. And if I'm playing var variable amounts of different games like 3, 2, CE, Reach, and H2A. Um, I lock it all at 60, which is a shame because I like playing on PC and I like playing above 60 frames. That's why I play on PC. Uh, another feature, like I said, would be the text chat improvements as you know, a lot of people do like to abuse anonymity on the internet and also people are quite rude. Uh, a lot of times I actually probably have to block out the uh, the chat if I could have. Uh, previously, they did mention about how they wanted to have a uh, text chat on and off app option that was added into the backlog uh, last month in July's update, but then we don't see it right here in active development, in design, or backlog when it comes to the August update. But I'm assuming it probably goes added into the text chat improvements as well. So I'd really like to see that. Personally, I like having text chat because occasionally I do come across people online who recognize me from the channel, which is awesome. I really do appreciate you guys do that. And so I'd like to see those, but I would like to see a filter put back into where we block out some of the words that obviously you don't want to be shown in public. This is what the text chat originally was back during the reach flight days, but it was way too strict on its censorship, to, you know, just randomly blocking almost any kind of words that could possibly turned into something negative and then they just turned it off and then now it's the wild west in that text chat and i think there's a at least some form of a middle ground right there you can probably do i mean i do this on my youtube channel where i block out certain words because obviously they can be very offensive and rude and you don't want people sharing that toxicity in your chat i'm just surprised it's taken this long to come around and it's not even in active development which is kind of crazy in my opinion maybe there's some external things getting in the way of actually fixing that because maybe it's like a Microsoft kind of ran system. I don't know. But at least now in active development, we have better ways to report players. So hopefully that would be a more in-game option because right now it's such a hassle that I don't even bother with it. I do come across it quite often where people I would rather report and I'm just not going to bother with it because usually I'm streaming. I'm not going to stop a stream to report a guy, you know what I mean? Another really important part that's in this InDesign phase right now is additional mod support. Now it's been sitting in there for quite some time and I would like to see some kind of updates about this. Now we did have a blog update talking about this a few months ago, talking about how they want to try to create more with this content as there's so much potential with modding and content creation when it comes to the MCC. We have a you know, so many different games with so many different types of content you can create. I mean, we've seen what people can pull off already through Rejected Shotgun and Infernal Plus, what they've been able to pull off with Halo modding. Uh, though if you added in modding tools into the MZC, you'd see that content explode. And it'd be the one feature that would really help create a better longevity for the MCC, even into the launch of Halo Infinite. I mean, we still have people creating content for Combat Evolved. That's why you see like Cursed Halo and SPV3 are just modded versions of Halo Combat Evolved. And we're still playing that in 2020. It's pretty crazy to think about. So once modding tools come to the MCC, people will be off to the races when it comes to creating content. So now you're probably thinking, okay, that's great that they started working on it, but when can we actually expect these to be added into the game? As currently right now for the MCC, a lot is in active development and it's all planned for 2020. So at this moment, I would not suspect to see these features to come to the console in 2020, probably early 2021 would be my guess. So all you console players, I'm sad to say, but you might have to wait till 2021 to get your FOV sliders and additional features coming to the console. But when they do, I guarantee you I'll be making videos on this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to keep yourselves updated with everything happening with Halo MCC as well as anything happening with Halo Infinite. Thank you so much for watching guys. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.